only because of these roads that I ride on back here. They got a little gravel and stuff, and uh, I think it handles better with the dual sport tires. And that's pretty much it. They're both super nice, nice bikes. They're both a joy to ride. My test today showed that uh, both of them will do part near 70. You know, the KPM is rated at 75 and it may do that once it's broken, but hell, it's only got 45 miles on it. The Expect has got, I think, 111 miles on it. So they're both new. They're both not even broke in yet. So I need to, you know, give them some time for that. They both stop great. They both handle great. They both get good gas mileage. And I like the styling, you know, they look pretty sharp. You know, the Expect has got the uh, red caliper in the front. And the KPM, I don't think it does have red ones. Nope, they're just black. But if I want red, caliper paint. So that is the review on both of these bikes. Um, the one thing I will mention on this KPM is the speedometer. It looks cool and it is nice. But if you got a full face helmet on, you got to put your face down in order to see the speedometer which, you know, like I said in the video, may not be an issue for some riders, and these aren't speed demons by any stretch, so it's really a non-issue, but it does look cool where it's at. And I think this one holds about four gallons, whereas the Expect holds about three, a little over three, I think, but I will double check those specs and put those uh, when I get this done and get it posted. And I'll put the specs for the engines because the KPM is a six speed water cooled. This one's a five speed air cooled. And uh, the KPM feels faster, uh, but I think it's only because of the gearing. So in my test show today, I had them both to about 68. So, you know, it's plenty fast enough for me, but I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, get it all composed and uh, I'll post it online.